Hey there, everyone. This is Zhao Cow playing Llama Llama 2. And last time I bumped into what everyone calls the Brahma puzzle. And uh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, so, like, basically, um, I barely touched it at all. Just immediately kind of feeling overwhelmed by what I was seeing. But a close friend of mine really argued that I should give it an honest shot. If only because I want to do it as early as possible, so that the prize you get, I can get any value from it. So, fair enough. Um, I put a vase there. I don't suppose putting the vase there again is gonna do much, huh? Alright. Now, the fact that I was so encouraged to go for it so early, I think that's a fox, clearly. Oof. Um, I mean, in a way, it's encouraging because it's telling me that... No, I don't know what it is it wants. Yeah. Yeah, so there's all the ages. I mean, it implies that I have what I need to be able to do it. Now, I don't even know where to start with this. I'm allowed to hit things, right? Well, I can't hit anything here. This I can't do much. Like, there's no eyes or anything anywhere, so I think I can slap things as much as I want. Um, what about these? Fascinating. So, if I'm going to hazard a guess, like an informed guess here, uh, this is probably what egging the statues did, right? Like, whenever I... well, I just remember, the egg is associated with Brahma, and whenever I... oh, it changes the color of the gem they're on. And whenever I would hit one of them, a spirit of a particular color would come out. Alright, well, okay, so before we do anything, um, I want to set up. I am coming here prepared. I have set up my own Brahma.txt where I put together all the tablet tags that I thought was going to be relevant. They're all things that I have scammed. There's a thing I have in my 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 readout that I'm not seeing here, and I I guess it might be somewhere else. I don't know. I'm like I'm just not sure how you. Well, I mean, you interact things by putting things and things. Well, anyways, like I feel like I should give an overview of what it is that I have here in my Brahma dot tech. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, first there are what I assume are the rules, so I will read them out loud. Accept Brahma's four trials. The four faces are a means to see the four ages. Place the correct offering in a correct hand for the correct age. Then Yggdrasil's owl all shall be revealed. So I'm gonna assume that these are the hands that you want to put, and each one is gonna correspond to one of the age. Well, yeah, it says that right here. So this is going to be where we're going to put Sashu Yoga, Tetra Yoga, Vipara, and Kali. Right? You know? Whoops! Okay. There's the four heads. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. So gold, silver, bronze, and steel. Which represents, like, the different descriptors we've had. Uh, so, let me keep... There's another rule text here I need to read out, which I'm going to do right now. Brahma has immense an amend... Uh, okay, let me start over. Brahma has amassed an immense amount of knowledge, and is said to show it to those who desire to see it. His four arms control the four eras, the Yuga. Playing the appropriate offerings on each arm will activate Brahma. The means to solving that mystery lies in Brahma's dialogue on creation left around Eglana. Brahma may have been moved to a different location within Eglana. Shiva can no longer reach as a weapon, but superpower remains. I think that's where I got the Iron Flail. Do not attack its head. And then I have in my loads, yeah. So we got in order from left to right, Satya, Tetra, Vipara, and Kali. 
Okay, so the notes I have amassed for this is there was a tablet on, like there are four tablets each describing each uh, era. They all share the same uh, thing. They go where like, this age is the age of this stone. And then there's a description. All of these are associated with the wheel, right? And all of these wheel have a drawing on them. So I've also, uh, every one of these objects has, has one panel about them somewhere in the game. Like I'm gonna use a defined fortress wheel, for example, I wonder if everyone remembers, there's a lotus. There is one single tablet, it seems in the whole game, that mentions it. The Padma Lotus begets blessing, but blessings will not grace those of whom life is tangled with chaos. Life and chaos are lit up. They are highlighted in blue. And so, I remembered very clearly that the Wheel of Divine Fortress, when you put a uh, weight on it, uh, it would send out a spike unless you put a wheel during the gold part. Which to me means that is associated with the Golden Age. So that means that uh, the Golden Age, the one with uh, Brahma's current face there, that would be for the Satya Yoga, which is here. I don't know yet what to do about that, but like I'm just putting down what I got. And uh, the, sat the, the, the Padma Lotus is associated with that in some way, as well as the gods in some way. Um, so last night I did some homework and I went to the other wheels I've met. There's the wheel in the shrine which had a book, which would associate, and you know, so the book was at the age of silver. What, silver or steel? But I have reasons to believe in my silver. That's silver and steel, kind of hard to tell. Uh, but I think steel was the... Now looking at this here, uh, at the Brahma colors, I'm convinced it is steel now. I wasn't sure, but now I am. Uh, and that would have been associated... That had a book, right? And there's a tablet that talks about the Veda text. It's the single panel that talks about that object. Uh, comes through the belief system. One, uh, one belief is that when we reach death, highlighted, we'll return to water, highlighted. And they say that the age of silver, when Asia clan people came to learn on ceremony. A, a, a system of belief, you know? So I think there's a through line there. And then you got the wheel in, um, in hell, which reacted to the bronze, the bronze color, and there was a vase on it. Uh, the Vara Yuga is the age of copper, when disaster was wrought from virtue and sin and balance. And there was the vase, the water pot. Uh, the water pot is tolerance, it's the vessel which will tolerate any battle that provokes chaos. Alright, you know, uh, water pot is pretty okay with, with fights. It's like, you know what, they're fighting around, that's cool. And uh, there's disaster because virtue and sin are on equal footing, you know? Like, it sounds cool because it says, no, they're in balance, but, I mean, it's a, it's a precarious balance. And, I mean, a lot of people will remember, hey, wait, but, you know, I only saw three wheels. And I think that's on purpose. I think you're supposed to decline what the fourth one is going to be, which would be the Age of Steel. The Kali Yuga is the Age of Steel, now blunted. The age where virtue disappeared, replaced by conflict and despair. But now you're gonna tell me, Rao Cow, what do you know what item it's gonna be associated with it, if that matters? Well, there is a another uh, tablet that I've encountered that follows the same pattern as the other one. You know, the object never heard of does this, and then a sentence with two highlighted things. Well, Early in the game, we encountered a, a tablet for the Mala Prayer Beads. Fits the bill as an object that is otherwise referenced nowhere. And it has a descriptor with two highlighted texts. There are as many Mala Prayer Beads as worldly desires. The beads weave together those who desire to drive them to fight highlighted tirelessly. Even after their lives, highlighted are exhausted. And you know, it's, their, uh, it's uh, the age of conflict and despair worldly desire uh i think no people there is no more spirituality in the world it is a world of material i think there is a true line 
I also um, put together all of the Brahma asks part, you know, like, hey, dude, what is creation? The Brahma asked chaos, Brahma asked Adam, Brahma asked Auden, Brahma asked Abzu, and Brahma asked Ame no Mika Nushi, which, going forward, I'm just gonna call him Ame for now. You know, he asked all of these folks what creation is about. And also, in my text, I have the mural description, like, what, like when you, uh, when you scan a guy, like, you know their statue, you get their text. I got that with me, in case it matters. Alright, uh, by the way, speaking of, uh, I did not in my note have the notes for Ymir, Ymir, Ymir. Uh, so I went and get that last night, uh, Statue of Ymir, the big screaming skull. Uh, I probably have scanned it, but maybe I didn't keep it on camera or something. That is very normal. In case I did never show it on camera, what it says is, The stone statue thought to be of Ymir, the North mythology proto-being. The myths tell of how he was defeated by his own children, how Ur came to be from his dissected body parts, and how dwarves corresponding to the four carnal points held skull off, creating the sky. Good times. So. We are on, uh, here we are on the Golden Age. Like, what happens? So, Age of Blessing, Golden Age, that's here. Let's press down here and see what happens. A skull. That's probably not what I want. Uh, what do I do about that skull? Can I get rid of it? Can I, like, meet it? I'm very good at video games. Well, I can't do anything about it. Can I just, like, scroll it off screen? Or is that the solution? I'll see here, we go here, and then it's no bueno. Let's fill the world with skulls. The things don't go back up. Yeah, they just say that. Alright. So, wait a second. Okay, 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 wait a second. What shall we place upon this arm is Satya Yoga. So... Like... It's like, so is the offering what's on its calendar? So I need to put the Lotus here? But... I do not have a lotus. I don't have anything that looks like a lotus. The boat, kind of, but I can't interact with that. Like, of items I have access here, like, I don't have anything that looks like a lotus, a book, beads, or a vase. Well, I do have a vase. Vase would be, in my thing, the water pot is for the Vapa, which is here, right? Uh, yeah, well, just to be safe, but it should be, just in case. It, well, it doesn't have quite the same shape, but yeah, game just does not care. It does not react. That's not how you communicate with this. Technically, I guess it could be the vessel. It's just, just in case. No, it doesn't care. I need to put... Well, okay, no, 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 like... I need to input uh, a gift. I need to make a sacrifice. By hitting this thing, something is gonna depend out of this gum machine, and it needs to be the right thing. It needs to be... Okay. So this is chaos, right? Chaos is purple. When you zap chaos, a big purple thing came out. I remember that also Abzu was red. Uh, or am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, when Brahma asked chaos what is creation, his text does literally say creation is simply floating in purple. This is chaos. Got it. Adam is here, it says. A green snake. So this is probably Adam. In that case, I'm gonna change my note order so that it's in the order of these guys. 
So Adam is like number four here. So there were only five statues to egg, I guess, by the way. Uh, what is creation? Odin responded, all was birth and remains of the primeval giant Ymir. The glimmer of that which is birth from death is creation. So you do not give me a color. Interesting. Uh, Anna no Kimanushi is red. I'm gonna cast illuminate all with a red light. So you're Anna Kimanushi. So you should be in the middle. And you are fourth. So I have two for whom I don't know the color. I got blue and yellow. However, uh, Roma asked Abzu what is creation. Abzu was begun of pure water, so we answered that undefiled clear water are creation. So blue. He likes blue water. So I'm going to assume that th this is the only one that doesn't spell it out. But mentions blue, and the last one would be Wamir, which does not give like any colors at all. Like you're, you get there basically from elimination. Man, I should have noted what color. Well, I mean, I didn't know that color would be a thing. Okay, all right. So, in theory, we got chaos, unfiltered clear water, which would be blue. Red light, green snake, and then whatever's left. So chaos, Abzu, Ame, Adam, Adam, and Wimir by way of Odin. So shining the correct light is gonna pop the right flavor of gum. Like, like there's like not a billion ways to interact with the world here. Okay. Okay. Panna Lotus begets blessing, but blessings will not grace those without life is tangled with chaos. Life and chaos are highlighted. So chaos is highlighted. What is life? Looking at the Brahma Asks column, the only one that mentions life in text is Ame. Uh, Ameteratsu eliminated all with a red light. The lives born from that are creation. Creation is life. So, you want... Assuming I'm right, you want... I uh, don't want yellow. So I've got... I've got the chaos highlighted, I got the life highlighted. DUDE! It's not a skull! Okay, 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 okay. Tetra Yoga, The Age of Belief, the book. Okay, so the Veda text. When we reach death, we will return to water. Well, the water part is easy. Um, clear water is Abzu. So we got want some blue highlights for Lamos here. What is that? Death. When uh, we reach death, we'll return to water. Yeah, death. Death. Uh, um, that's that. That's Wamir, right? It's the only one that mentions death, which is really weird to mention as creation. But yeah, the glimmer of death, which is birth from death. He wants death, so I should have blue and death right now, assuming I'm correct. Yo! Oh shoot, but I didn't change that. Does that matter? Oh, there's two legs left. Does that mean there's... Okay, I didn't do that when I... Okay, well, let's see what happens. Purple, third one. Uh, Age of Copper. When disaster was wrought from virtue and sins and balance. The water pot. Uh, the water pot is tolerance. It is the vessel which will tolerate any battle that provokes chaos. So I want, I want chaos on it, which is right there right now. And battle. And battle. 
and battle. Um, that would be Adam. That would be Green. Adam answered by assuming the form of Great Snake before leaving for battle. Creation is fighting. So green, green, purple. So I am on copper. So I do that. And I put this in. Yeah, and I lost a leg. Okay. Alright, so the last one that I don't really understand. Uh, Age of Steel now blend, where there's a fear of conflict and despair. Yeah. Uh, the beds weave together those desire to drive them to fight, highlighted, tired of sleep, and after their lives highlighted, are exhausted. Fighting and lives. So we already did fighting. That's green. And, um... Lives. That is... Red, right? Yeah. Uh, of course, you're like... It's like a big hassle to hit. Shoot, okay, well... Alright, that and green. Right, because red is lives and green is... The other one, fighting. Alright. Here's the bed, jewel bead. You. I mean... Uh, they all have their offering. <laughs> that was a pretty funny sound effect. It is set on gold. Here's the book. Age of Bronze. Age of Steel. It's possible I still got Steel and Silver reversed. But see, like, they go in a decaying order. Like, it's Gold, Silver, Copper, Steel. Like, it goes in reverse order. Uh, fight and Life. So, I need Green... Green, Red. Go! Oh! So I must have just messed it up somewhere. <laughs> what do you want? I just got a thing. Yes, I did. Maybe I did. I did. I did. I passed. Confirmed. Yeah. All you need is all the notes in the game available. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. Wait, that's the map of the place? Oh yeah, it's a giant tree. We got the roots on top. We got the trees on the bottom. We got some stars glowing. Bunch of blue and red stars. I don't know what this does. Yeah, of course. Now I get uh, animals. Oh no, wait. Those are those are maps. Like that dragon down. Okay, those are like additions to the... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look! There's a dragon and his neck being bitten by an infernal beast. <laughs> There's a big... Yeah, those are our maps. Okay. Now I got... Oh, this is like the underside? Uh... There's just a hand. <laughs> Um, it's like a bird with the sun on it over there. There's a dragon with one of the flashies in its mouth. There's a red star that's like way off map up there. And then there's this. What does this mean? What are those? Yeah, they probably represent location and there's a map on your tablet. What are you talking about? There's nothing here. It's 
go to another place? And check the map there. I, I don't know what this means. Oh! Yeah, there's a little blue skull there. Oh, so I won the ability to tell where skulls are? <laughs> Sweet. Well, okay, so that's the blue lights. So, what's the red lights then? I don't know. Maybe one day we'll find out. Down and... That's in a fairy room, isn't it? It's like just a red thing. Here. Is this one of those things that I think I need bombs for? Like, is there... Okay. So, it's a secret thing telling about her. So I need to get back here when I get bombs. I did it, I saw it. So again, like, by virtue of having all these, these, uh, text available to me, like, I felt like I had everything I needed to the max man, and that took a lot of weights, though. I guess I should buy more. Hey, I would like to buy weights, I'm never gonna buy the ancient shields. No, I won't because I wanna buy my weight and wait all the time. I... She got mad, but I don't know why when I was exiting. I was just pressing. So I did it! I think I saw Brahma. Phobos called me in to say, hey, you saw Brahma probably. <laughs> I wonder if I speak to him live. If he's gonna have anything to say. But yeah, no, yeah. Like, this is a pretty nutty puzzle because you gotta cross reference just. A whole- right, this is stronger now. You gotta cross-reference, like, a whole slew of things. But, because I have the advantage of having everything being noted for me, I just had to pull it up. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. So, you don't got anything to say about- fo I- I beat- I did the Brahma. I got a sweet super map. What? Um... I don't have my notes for that at hand. You mean the prophecy tablet? And now Phobos is gone. He's just sick of my noise. <laughs> um... I'm not affected by spirits anymore, nor bats. No, Phobos isn't here. I can scream about the night if you want. I don't know if that's gonna do much, but, uh... Moon is good for everyone. By the way, this is totally a map of, um... Of uh, the Blood Corridor. You got this spike symbol. Like, all over the place, in uh, the Frozen Giant Zone. And that's the location it is in the Blood Corridor, so that's a Blood Corridor map. I don't know if it's very that useful to know, but I think it's neat. Man, it's so weird. Like, I didn't get, like, a treasure. I got a map upgrade, which is probably gonna be good. But, uh... I... I don't... Like, it's not a tangible object, so it's like, I, I did it! I won! But it, it's like it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> but I did it! Next time! Something. I got options.